To start creating a list of practices that you'd like to work in, come to My Practices and click the Add a Practice button. This shows you a list of nearly 3,000 practices registered on Locum Deck in distance order from your home postcode. To open a practice record, just click on the name. The first tab shows the practice location and the practice can add a profile with information about themselves. Use the next button to scroll through the tabs and here are the contact details of the staff and some information for your pension forms. Clicking next again and this is a tab where you can set up how you would like to work in this practice by ticking to select sessions from your session lists to work. This session's already ticked because um, it was selected to be used in all practices in a previous step of this guide. You can even create a new session type. After you've ticked to select your sessions, scroll down and this is where you can set more of your terms at the practice level about whether you're going to claim pension using the locum form A and B system, whether you're willing to supervise non-GP colleagues in this practice and whether you're happy to carry out telephone consultations. And down here, these charges are optional. Next, the notes you can share with the practice. So if there's extra information you'd like to convey to them about working safely, for instance, some people add that they need longer appointments if they manage patients who don't have English as a first language and need interpreters. And then here next, if any of your colleagues have left testimonials, you will be able to read them. And if the practice has added an induction pack or any of their policy information, you can view them here. Click to save to my practices and it's added to your list and you're now linked with the practice. This means you'll be able to share booking information and invoices and pension forms for e-signing on Locum Deck. If you're setting up to get booked by this practice using Instant Book, then an important extra step is to switch on this Activate toggle. This will enable the practice to book you once you've added availability to your calendar. And once activated, the status next to the practice tells you where you are on the journey to becoming visible and bookable by the practice. And the action buttons take you to the next step in the process. For now, uh, we'll pause here just to let you add a practice and activate it if you're using Instant Book. And we'll show you um, adding availability settings and enabling your calendar in, the, in another step of the setup guide.